Now, from the University of Okaboji, it's Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff Thee. Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody. I'm Jeff Thee, coming to you from the wonderful Sammy Bedell Center for Performing Arts right here at Spirit Lake High School. I have here with me today, I have from the Spirit Lake Music Factory, Allie Vierkant and Maggie McKim. Hey guys, welcome, first of all. Hi. 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 <laughs> you can say hi to me. <laughs> Oh, we're talking about the Spirit Lake Music Factory. Now, you're, you're both juniors, is that right? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay, so how long have you been involved with uh, Music Factory, show choir, that sort of stuff? So, this is my fifth year in show choir. I started in seventh grade, which is the earliest we're able to start. Okay. Me as well. It's both of our fifth years, and we've both been doing it. We both did. In both years in middle school, seventh and eighth grade. So, with Spirit Rising, and now we're both in Music Factory. And then you're both in the Music Factory. Tell me a little bit about what the music factory is about, what show choir is about, what all the things you get to and, and have to do. So, and you can partner off each other however you want to talk about it. So Spirit Like Music Factory is, like you said, it is a show choir and show choir is when a group of students or a group of people get together and they sing and they dance at the same time and you know we wear pretty dresses and the boys wear suits and we do fun things with our hair and all the makeup and it's basically a very fun version of choir with costumes and makeup and dance so well you're not standing still and standing on risers and just no. singing, hoping that you can catch a glimpse of your parents way out there in the audience and so yeah I mean you it is it's a show is what you're putting on very much so yeah now give me a little bit of the rundown on, on time when do you get started in the school year and from there on out how much are you rehearsing and, and, and that sort of thing yeah, so we start choreo days in early November and we practice about 20 hours within the span of four days and that's where we learn all of our choreography. And then we practice our choreography every Monday, Wednesday, Friday for an hour. So we put in um, two of those practices are in the morning and one is after school. Okay, all right. Who does the choreography? First of all, how do you pick the music? Who, who says, okay, here's the songs we're doing this year for Music Factory and then who says, okay, and here's how we're gonna dance to it. So our director, Mr. Miller, has, I believe, a person who sends him like different options, I believe is how it works, for what songs, and then he kind of picks. And then our choreographer is the amazing Ben Eklund, who lives out in Nebraska, I uh -huh. believe. And he comes in and comes up with the wonderful choreo that we get to do every year. Ah, so who picks up the choreography faster, boys or girls? <laughs> I would and say, you don't have to be fair on this. Just tell them how it is. I would say it's not necessarily boys or girls. It's more the upperclassmen. Uh, so the older kids that have more experience in it pick up the choreography sure, faster. Sure, yeah. They've done it more. You're, like you've done, been doing this seventh grade, you said? Yeah. So you probably, when it comes to choreography, oh yeah, I got this. Yeah, it's not easy by any means, but it's a lot of work. But when you put the work in, it comes easier throughout years. Yeah. Agreed. Now, okay, so now you've rehearsed, you've practiced. So what, what are your show settings? Where are you going and, and where are you all performing? So this year, uh, actually tomorrow, so on Wednesday, we are going to our first clinic, which is at Iowa Lakes Community College in Esterville. And then next Monday, we have State, which is where we go and we perform and get a rating. It's not like athletics where you go and you're competing. We are going to get a rating from judges, so, so a one, a two, or a three, one being the best. Mm -hmm. And that is in Emmitsburg. And then we go, we host Shake the Lakes, which I believe you're going to talk about yes, later. Yes. And then we also go to Emmitsburg, Westwood, Hinton, and Bishop Helan, I believe, this year. Does that ever get to be a lot? I mean, you're, you're, you're getting and going on, on Saturdays, isn't it, when a lot of the times when you're going? Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, you're up early, you're getting on the bus, and, and for the love of Pete, make sure I get my, my lipstick and my dance shoes and all this kind of stuff. Do you, do you have a checklist in your head or a written down that, yeah. uh, <laughs> because there's no turning, you get halfway there, and there's no turning back and going, well, she forgot her shoe. Right. I think it's a lot, and sometimes when we are getting up at six in the morning and yeah. having to curl our hair and be at the yeah. school at seven and leave and whatnot, it gets to be a lot, but it's also super fun. Yeah. They're long days, especially if we make finals, fingers crossed, but they're super fun days because you're with all your friends all day. Yeah. So. I mean, and you're competing against a lot of schools. Yes. I mean, and, and schools sometimes bigger than, than Spirit Lake Much does. bigger than Is, us yeah. sometimes. <laughs> Is that intimidating? 
Um, I don't know if it's really intimidating. It definitely makes us work harder. Yeah. And I know a lot of us really enjoy watching those show choirs because sometimes it's just like amazing what a big group can put on. Yeah. Like a group much bigger than ours. Sure. Yeah, we do. We learn from others and, and maybe you pick up things. You're both juniors that, you know, next year we could add something like that into our show. So you're, you're learning from your peers, no matter small school, bigger school, they're all trying to do their best. Yeah. And there's... It doesn't really matter even on the size of the necessary like the necessary school because sometimes that we go against a lot of smaller schools that it's a smaller school but their music program is very big or yeah. vice versa and it's a bigger school and their music program is not as well thought out so it doesn't always really depend on how big the school is sometimes it does sometimes it, does. Sometimes it doesn't sure it varies yeah but with spirit lake i was we were just talking the fact that 25 percent of the student body is in the music program. I mean, mm -hmm. that, that a quarter of yeah, the students. Yeah. I mean, that says a lot for the, the program here at Spirit Lake, doesn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. pretty awesome. Yeah. So, all right. So you're getting all ready to go. You, and uh, oh, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you. So wh what's the song selection? What are, you, what are you working on? So our opener this year is called Unbreakable. And I don't necessarily remember who all these are by, but our <laughs> opener is called Unbreakable. Our second song is called Magic Happens, and it was written for like a Disney World thing. So it has that, that type of Disney vibe to it. Okay. Our ballad is called Pictures of Mountains and it's a really pretty song about kind of enjoying your life instead of just living off from the side. Our girl's song is I'm a Lady by Megan Trainer. Our guy's song is Must Be Hard Being You. And then our closer is a combination between Hazy Shade of Winter by The Bangles mm -hmm. and then Coldest Winter by Pentatonix. You get extra points because you knew the name of the Bangles in the <laughs> 1980s. <laughs> I can thank my parents for that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. That's our job, to teach you the music from our era. Well, guys, thank you so much, and uh, good luck this season. And uh, just so nice to have a chance to talk with you, and best of luck during, uh, during show choir season. Now we're talking with Nancy Vierkant and Carrie McKim. Parents here, of, well, parents of the, the girls I just talked to. <laughs> <laughs> that was convenient. How'd you talk them into it? <laughs> I told them they didn't have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> I remember those days, yeah. You know, and, and ladies were standing here in front of, you know, we've got this magnificent Sammy Bedell Center for the Performing Arts, and, it's, and it is state of the art, great seating, wonderful stage and production, mm -hmm. lights and audio. And then there's a little touch from Elton John <laughs> right here as well. I mean, how good is that? It's pretty special. Yeah. And there's, there's not any other school in the nation that has an Elton John red piano. So we're pretty lucky in that <laughs> regard here in Spirit Lake. It truly are. And, you know, and it's not just for show. I mean, the kids get to use it. and It's absolutely used. Yeah. You know, the kids move it. Gary has them help. And it is part of our everyday life here in Spirit Lake. But to our visitors that are coming for our big event, it's a pretty special thing. Because right here above the keyboard, there's a signature <laughs> there by is. Sir Elton John as well. So, and you know, and you provided me with a YouTube video on from Yamaha and the construction mm -hmm. of this. And I mean, every, well, it's all done kind of to Elton John's specifications, mm -hmm. including the, what amazed me was on the keyboard, how they cut it kind of for his hands <laughs> and because he is a pounder, you know. Right. Think about it, the piano man, right. and uh, and it's it's designed in a way so he doesn't have cut bruised hands afterwards. That's exactly right. According to Yamaha, it was all made exactly how he wanted it to be, and so there were uh, the initial run was thirty of these red pianos yeah. that were made um, for his red concert to commemorate his yeah, right. his red piano concert residency that was held at Caesars in Las Vegas. Yeah, and so this is number seventeen of the original thirty that were made. Then there were an additional 20 that were made. So there are 50 of these red pianos, but we have number 17 of the original Just 30 beautiful. run. Just so, beautiful. What um, a big thanks to the Tom Bedell family yeah. for that generous gift that was made at the time that the Indeed. Sandy was, was constructed. Yeah. So lots of, of kids who come to town are very excited <laughs> to see the red piano and they just to see it takes their breath away. And then when you say, would you like to play it? Oh. And they just light up. So yeah. lots of pictures, you know, a lot of our Spirit Lake kids have pictures, senior of pictures course. taken with the red piano. It's an important part of their memories of their time in Spirit Lake. But then our visitors also, you're watching moms and dads, you know, their piano <laughs> player, their kid who's, who's taken piano lessons for lots of years and they sit down at this red piano. It's a special moment. It's a special moment. And we have lots of them right here at the Sammy Bedell Center. Of mm -hmm. course, we've got an event coming up here pretty quick and it has uh, become a wonderful annual thing. 
Shake the lake. Shake the lakes. Yeah, that's right. Yep, so February 18th and 19th, um, the Spirit Lake Music Boosters will be hosting Shake the Lakes. It mm -hmm. is our primary fundraiser for our music departments. and. So we're excited to have that show choir and jazz choir competition coming to our area, which will bring, you know, lots of schools as well as lots of people to our community, yes. embracing the music that they're seeing here at the Sammy Center, but also, you know, embracing our community and shops and, you know, hotels, restaurants, those types of things that we have as well. Yeah, and it's truly that partnership with the, the because when you're bringing in thousands of people, certainly we want them to be here sitting and enjoying the show when, they're, when their kids are performing. But then there's that tendency, well, let's see what's around here in the lakes area. And we got a lot to show. So that partnership with businesses is sure. a wonderful thing. Right. And we're just very thankful. I mean, we get support from those businesses throughout the entire year. So, of course, we want to make sure that, you know, we're highlighting them in times that we're bringing lots of visitors to our community that we're highlighting what a great place it is to shop and play here, too. Yeah. So. yeah. You know, and I was talking to your daughters about the, the hours involved with their rehearsals and, and so forth. And uh, sometimes we forget what well, the parents are tagging along on this <laughs> stuff too. And so it's not just dedication, and this certainly is from the, from the students, but uh, the parents, they, they travel in packs as well. <laughs> oh, we do, <laughs> right. We're not up curling our hair at 5.30 no, in not. the morning. <laughs> but I would like video of that if it ever happened. <laughs> But my eyes are still closed. <laughs> yeah. <after him>. <laughs> <laughs> but the the choirs, whether it's a jazz choir or a show choir, they travel with fans. Mm -hmm. And you know, the bigger the school, the bigger the number of fans. And you know, even though small schools bring a good number of okay. moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas and aunts and uncles, so we're excited to welcome all of those folks to our community. Not only to show off, you know, our great piano and our great facilities, but the great community that we have in Spear Lake. Yeah. So. And, and, and those kids get to show off their, their talents, their Absolutely. dedication. And while we're talking numbers, let's talk about numbers, schools and so forth that uh, will be coming here for Shake the Lake. Yeah, Lake. It's, it's so big I had to write it down. So Friday night we host um, five middle school show choirs that will be starting at like 5 o'clock. Sort of have one performing every half hour. Okay. And then our Spirit Lake group performs at about 7.20. And then after that there's awards, you know, there's a best soloist and things like that. So. That night will go from about 5 to 8 on Friday night with the middle schools. And then Saturday morning, we start bright and early at 8 a.m. <laughs> we have 17 jazz choirs coming to Spirit Lake on Saturday the 19th. They will all be in our black box. And so um, running about every 20 to 25 minutes, right. we'll be running a group through there. We have 14 show choirs that will be in the main house. And then Spirit Lake will also be performing, and that will be at about 5, 5 20? 20. 5 20 um, on Saturday night. Yeah. So if local folks want to come out and, and support and be a, get a chance to for sure see the home groups, uh, those would be the times. Yeah. And Nancy, uh, an activity like this and an event like this certainly brings a lot to our area community and to our businesses, but it's kind of a partnership where businesses benefit and, and the businesses help out with the program as well. Correct, yep. So we get support from our area businesses throughout the entire year, and we're very fortunate in that. We have a great partnership. But this is one opportunity where we really thought that we could partner back with them and drive some business to their doors um, because we do have a beautiful downtown. We have great places to shop and great places to hang out and eating. And so we really want to promote, you know, the lucky place that we all get to call home, yeah. right? Um, but those visitors, when they come to town, you know, they can go and stroll our streets and take in some shopping and activities as, as well. So we are really trying to promote that, you know, if you do have that break from when your child performed in the morning until callbacks maybe at supper time, you know, go and take advantage of our great community that we all get to call home and, and shop in our businesses and, um, you know, pay attention to them too. So we really do want to have that partnership with them and there's a great opportunity for us to send that back their direction. Yeah, for sure. When we're bringing that many people in, no different than Winter Games, the 4th of July, we like to <laughs> share it around the area, That's make sure right. our businesses get a hold of that as well. And certainly, we this could not be done, I know you guys got volunteers <laughs> like crazy to make not only this event happen, but you know, with the traveling for the kids and everything, mm -hmm. and people really come out of the woodwork to help. 
Yeah, so we do. You know, we it, it takes a village really to put something like this on. We've got hundreds of slots on, you know, a sign up program that we use for people to fill in everywhere from, you know, helping direct buses. You know, where do the buses from the schools go? Where do they need to go and park? And helping to shuttle those people back and forth to admissions, to concession stands and social media and, yeah. you know, everything in between. And so, you know, we do depend on all of our music students to help because mm -hmm. they are also um, being champions for our school and helping in all right. of the prep rooms that they have. So they are being leaders in that respect as well as all of the volunteers that we have throughout the music program and you know other volunteers that we get as well. Yeah, and it's just another great way for the, the kids to learn while they're working you know those things that make a community work and, and being ambassadors and, and being thoughtful and caring and and as they take the the flame from us they'll be well prepared <laughs> for the their next adventure as well sure. right it's a great for experience sure. for our kids to step up and be leaders for our, our facility as well as the volunteers and it's a great experience that you know we're thought of as one of the premier places to come and compete for this competition because of the great um, amenities that we have, the great facility that we have, and the great service that we provide, quite frankly, to all of the guests that come in and all the schools. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. We do it right. Yeah, we <laughs> do. <laughs> I think that succinctly put it together. <laughs> <laughs> so what a great note to end on. So thank you and thank you to your daughters for taking time with me to talk about this event and the hard work they certainly do uh, for uh, Music Factory. And, you know, it, it's, it's nice for someone whose kids are all out of school to see the traditions yep. uh, all continuing and see these fine young people getting ready to take the helm. So thank you. All right, guys, I know when the event is, where the event is, but the only thing I don't know is, okay, getting tickets, how much and where can we do it? Tickets will be sold right here in the lobby of the Sammy Bedell Center for the Performing Arts. Okay. $5 for students. Friday night's um, events for middle school are also $5. Saturday is $10, and that covers you the whole day. So you can come and go as much as you want. That also includes the evening finals. Very good. So, right. super great deal. All right. You won't find better music anywhere no, for won't. such a great price. Not for that great <laughs> price, that's for sure. All right. Thank you again for joining me, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you for you having me. Karen McKim, Nancy Vierkant here with us, and of course, uh, an appearance by Sir Nell and Elton John as well. We thank them for joining us. We thank you for watching us right here on Okaboji Broadcast. Okaboji Broadcast from the studios at Historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park is brought to you in part by the Scott Troutman State Farm Agency in Spirit Lake, Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, advisor Jan Spielman, AJ Spielman, and Erica Wachholz, Duckies Marine and Motorsports Repair in Spirit Lake, Bank Midwest, Dream Big, Plan Wisely, Live Well, Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner, Ruth Van Locker at the Lake, where carnivores are welcome on Hill Avenue in Spirit Lake, Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake, B Radiant Laser Skin Studio in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji, 